Introduce yourself. Good morning. My name is Gladys Jemphy. I get a chance to visit Dodge last okay. night. Very good. At 6.30 p.m. I went right in through the, uh, the front decks. I saw beautiful cars, sports ones, and um, color vans and other things which I'm interested in, especially the color vans as a mom. Okay. Uh, I passed by the, the receptionist, she did not even look at me. The receptionist didn't even greet you, and yeah, that's her job wanted, to do that. Yeah, okay. no, and she, her face wasn't even, you know, <laughs> appropriate. So that alone kicked me off a little bit. So I went to the demo rooms, was running around, going here and there. I went from one end to the other end, thinking somebody will at least. So you're walking around on the showroom floor. Did you see any other salesmen in, in, on the show? Yes, I think they were helping other customers. Okay. And I saw a couple of them too in their cubes, their cubicles. So they're just sitting down in the cubicle? Right. Somewhere on the phone. Did they see you? Yeah, they okay. saw me. Because even before I entered the door, I came across, you know. You passed a few? Passed a few of them. And none of them even none greeted of them you or said knowledge? Anything. So I went in from one end to the other was looking at the prices, the basic prices and other things. Which, which is a sign of an interested sign customer. Of interest customer. So I saw a couple customers too, a lady and a husband, a pregnant woman. They were also waiting. You're but kidding me. Nobody came. And she's so the husband said, Cut, let's go, let's go, let's go. He walked right out of the door. Wow. I was there close to twenty five minutes. Back and forth, you know, going looking You're at and the only only reason you're there for 25 minutes more like you you had a homework assignment yes. and you're trying to do your homework to assignment do my homework they don't know that they but don't know that, no. you're 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 purposely waiting around to get a greeting Absolutely. and so 25 minutes later then what do you do so i purposely even go again has the, the receptionist thinking that she asked me do you need help mom nothing so i went to the other end the jeep area nothing happened so the, this guy grabbed his wife's hand let's go they walk out of the door. So wow! So I purposely took one of the uh, their catalogs, right. thinking that probably that will prompt somebody. Sparks mentor, sure. Right, and I saw another guy in a glass, you know, <laughs> office. He looked at me, turned away. I that said, was probably what? the manager too. Probably, I said, "Wow, are they thinking because I'm a woman or what?" Yeah. I said, "Well, bye bye." So yeah. potentially there are 25 minutes to a half hour. Right. And as we just recap previously, a uh, approach should take at the most how long? Immediately. Immediately or at the very most pulling out onto the lot two, three minutes. So you either have no time invested at that point in time, you do the meet and greet, and and then you take them to the desk to do the proper interview. The proper interview. And how long does that usually take? It takes about six to seven minutes. Right. right. And so you're flying through that. So potentially in six to seven to 10 to 15 minutes, about half the time it took you to, to try to get a greeting, right. you could have really got some uh, pretty pivotal information on what they're looking for mm -hmm. and then already seen your manager and then be in the process of pulling that vehicle around to go on a test drive presentation. Right. Right. So really in 25 to 30 minutes, you could be halfway home closing a deal. Absolutely. Yes. And, and you had a, a, another interested couple who obviously need a minivan need a very shortly mm -hmm. and they leave too. Yes. So what was your overall impression? I wasn't happy yeah. because I know that's a company that I would love to, you know. <laughs> yeah. But what would you have done differently, Gladys, based upon your training uh, so far? To be honest, you know, as a salesperson, you see somebody, even if you're busy with a customer, you just have to greet the person. Right. Make them comfortable. Make them welcome. Yeah. That they are, you know, they are needed. Yeah. Your premises. So I would have done that first of all, and even excuse them that I, I'll be with them shortly. Yeah. No, that alone would have. Right. right. At, at least right. acknowledge and make contact and welcome right. them. Welcome them. Because yesterday yeah. when we learned about the five basic ingredients of the sale, and I said, do not get them out of order. Do you right. remember what the first one was? Who we, what do we sell first? You sell yourself. You first. sell yourself immediately. immediately. And if you don't right. do that, nothing else makes sense. Yes. So no one in them sold, sold themselves no, first. Nobody. So even if you heard great things about that dealership, this Dodge dealership, you gotta go check them out. They did a great job. And you go in there and the salesperson doesn't sell himself first, bam, what happens? Go away. It's all price, it's yes. all logic, and boom, I'm out the door. Oh, you no, know, you lose interest. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Just like anybody else. No. Okay. So I wouldn't like to lose a customer. 
this yeah. kind of experience that I had last night. Well, Gladys, it's sad to say that this story unfolds every day in dealerships all across the country. Mm -hmm. And do you understand now why I had you do the homework assignment? Yes. yes. So now yesterday makes a lot more sense. A lot more sense. Do you remember I told you this homework assignment would be life changing? Yes, you told me, and it's true. Now, <laughs> do you feel, based upon the training you've had so far, you have a lot more confidence that you can do this yes, thing? Yes, I do. Well, that was the purpose of it. Right. Good job. Well, uh, let's give her a round of applause. <laughs>